So, um, this video is just going to be short, just some facts about my natural hair. I'm always getting questions, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, or just people coming up to me. Um, I've been natural for four years. Um, no, five years. I started transitioning in 2011. Um, I just wore sewing and braids, and then I finally cut my hair off my sophomore year of college, which was 2012. And I had a short blonde afro. Um, and then 2014, uh, just got out of a relationship. I was just over it, so I was like, ugh, cut all my hair off. So I did my second bit chop. I had a tapered cut, and this is what I have now. Um, of course, there's a little bit of shrinkage, or a lot of it. Um, yeah, as you can see, my twist looks short, but my hair is really not that short. Um, this is just a protective style for me right now because I don't like dealing with my hair. And with the one year old, you don't really have time to be trying to do twist outs every three to four nights. So this will probably last me a week and a half, two weeks, depending on how soon I get tired of it. Uh, it took me four hours to do it, so not too bad. And it was probably because I kept stopping. But, yeah, this is my style that I do when I feel like I want to lock my hair. I really want sister locks, but I'm just, I don't think I'm prepared or ready for that commitment right now. So, I just do the twist. Sorry if you can't hear my son. He's in the other room. Um, but for these twists, um, pretty much, or for my natural hair, I guess, routine in general, I don't, well, I'm not going to say routine because it really depends on how I feel and, like, people always ask, what products do you use on your hair? How do you get your hair? I use whatever is on sale. I'm cheap. I don't get the Miss Jessie's unless it's on sale. I don't get the mixed chicks or whatever unless it's on sale. Carol's daughter, unless it's on sale. I do not spend more than $10 to $15 on one product. Sorry, just can't do it. Yeah, the only time I've splurged is on this, the Camille Rose Twisting Butter. And I'm not going to lie. This was worth the $15. I used that on my twist. And I've had my twist since... I think I did these Friday night. And I'm recording this. Today is Wednesday. So, yeah. I've had my twist for a while. Still moisturized. Like, my hair. That's the issue with my hair. I have, I would say, 4B4C hair. And it gets very, very, very dry. But my hair is not feeling dry with this. Um, before I twisted it, all I did was use this Smooth and Shine Co-Wash. Got it because it was cheap. And as far as washing my hair, I shampoo once or twice a month. But for the most part, I just co-wash. And then, I'm low on uh, conditioner, but I use the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask. The camera's just not going to focus, so yeah. This is one of my favorite products. And then when I twisted it, I just used this castor oil and this that was it just these two products doesn't take a lot 
doesn't take a lot of product, doesn't take a lot of effort. So, yeah, it's as simple as that. And um, when I wash my hair, well, when I apply my conditioner, I usually do sections. So, I'll part my hair into four sections. And then with this section, I'll probably make it each section is usually like three. So, okay, I have 12 twists when I apply my conditioner. That way I have smaller sections to detangle it. And because, trust me, I used to try to skip the detangling part because I don't like hard work. I'm lazy. No, I'm just kidding. No, I kind of am. Really am when it comes to my hair. But it makes the process so much easier. And your results are a lot better if you take the time to detangle. Like, if you are natural, you need to find a good detangling brush. And you need to take the time to detangle your hair. It is going to work miracles for your twist outs, your braid outs, whatever else you're doing. So, yeah. And, um... When I rinse my hair, I still have my twister braids in. And so when it was time for me to do these twists, all I did was take down, I think I actually braided it instead of twisting it. So I took down one braid at a time, separated it. I didn't really have a certain amount of twists I was going for. I was just going with the flow. And once I completed the section, took down the next braid and yeah that's just how I did it um for the most part I usually just wear my hair like this uh or I can it doesn't want to act right right now of course it doesn't push it back I guess technically it could go to this side but it's pretty much strained to go to this side now I could do it down the middle if I wanted to, but yeah, it's not going to act right because I always have it on this side and I'm trying to lose weight. So whenever I go to the gym, I usually just have this part up and the rest down or maybe I'll pull all of it up into a nice little pony. Oh, can you guys see? So, yeah. But, I just really like this style. It's simple. Like I said, it took me four hours to do it. And that's because I was lollygagging. Probably would have only took three hours. Would have taken. Only would have taken. There we go. Three hours if, you know, I was really trying to get done. But, I was just chilling. So, I'm asleep boyfriend was at work so I was taking the time and yeah and I mean when you think about it uh I only keep it in for two weeks because I get tired of styles easily I'm actually already tired of it but I'm just gonna keep wearing it because I don't feel like doing anything else to it but it could probably last three maybe because i mean you could definitely wash your hair i've done these twists this is maybe my third or fourth time doing my hair this way and before i washed my hair with the twist in so that works and that could be a way for you to keep a man longer but yeah when you think about it doing a twist out or a braid out that could take an hour maybe two depending on how fast or slow you twist and that style definitely or at least for me does not last two weeks my twist outs last maybe three days and then it's just time for a puff or time for another twist out or whatever so yeah um and now i'm pretty much just rambling so I'm going to cut this off here and my hopes are to next time maybe film myself doing the hairstyle. Um, I'm thinking about when I take this down, now when you take your mini twists out, 
you have a bomb twist out i'm telling you bomb twist out so when i take these out i'm probably gonna wear either just wear my hair out or wear a puff for maybe two or three days and then i wash it and when i wash it i'm gonna try to film a either twist and curl or braid and curl um I've only done it once before. It was a fail because I did not let my hair fully dry. My hair never fully dries because I hate sitting on a dryer. And my hair is so thick that overnight doesn't get it done. But I'm going to try to sit on the dryer. I'm going to try to record myself on the hairstyle. And yeah, I'm going to try to start doing makeup videos again too because I'm getting... A little bit better a little bit baby steps so yeah um that's all I got for you guys hope this was helpful I mean I didn't really talk about much I kind of just rambled the entire time because that's what I do I ramble but if you have any questions about my hair in general natural hair in general about this style uh, about the products I use or the products I mentioned just comment below um, also share with me you know some of the products that you guys find helpful um, the main product that I'm struggling with right now edge control I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have that issue like no edge control works for 4C hair slash edges. So, yeah, I'm sure y'all know the struggle. But, yeah, just some comment below. Thumbs up.